Hey my love bugs. Welcome to my channel, Vixen Tarot 626. Welcome back. Um, if this is your first time, I'm happy to have you. Thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys show. As always, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, I just want to take a minute to cleanse my space and energy. Holy Spirit and angels, please protect me as I channel these messages for the collective. Um, please deny any outside interference, not divinely orchestrated. All right. So I'm just going to do a quick reading today, guys. I'm not, um, I have somewhere to be, so I do want to give you guys some guidance for the day though. So let me just shuffle up a little bit. As always, I don't channel for you guys. I'm more channel for my own soul's journey. Um, and I don't want to put what the divine has for me and interfere in any of you guys' energy and your messages. So I just read the cards, let spirit present what they want to present. Um, all right, let's see what spirit has for us. So I'm going to get the, um, the overall energy of the reading. I got a new deck, the Love Oracle. They're so cute. <laughs> I love new decks, y'all. Feel free to send me some new decks. <laughs> I will love you forever. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective um, in regards to the person that they're thinking of? And they're new cards, so they might not flop out, so we might have to pick from the top. Which I think is what's going to happen. Yeah, all right, so let's see. So we have intuition, gut feeling, um, psychic, premonition, sixth sense. Okay. What else, spirit? Regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. Proposal, love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true. do one more mystery unknown enigma illusion confusing all right so let's see what is going on with y'all oh that stuff is popping out already <laughs> all right so as far as intuition the ten of cups popped out in the reverse so i feel like some of y'all might be in a situation with somebody, whether you're in separation or if you're together currently, where you feel like the divine God, whoever that you believe in is is sending you messages and um, trying to let you know that maybe this connection is not what they have for you. Um, you might, you know, be in a domestic violence situation. I'm getting that as well struggling relationship basically um nine of wands came out so spirit does want you to know that they're sending these messages to you for a reason you have the strength you have the courage to get through this and if um if it's that you want to leave this situation they'll make sure that you're okay and that you're you know it's divinely orchestrated so don't be scared to take that step if, if that's what needs to happen um but yeah they're sending you messages so pay attention you know synchronicity number synchronicities pay attention to your angel numbers google them um and just make sure that you stay open to receive from the divine all right what's this regret about spirit <clears throat> who's regretting something <laughs> Ace of Swords popped out. So that's the truth. Somebody's definitely fucking regretting some shit. <laughs> that's crazy. Knight of Swords in reverse. And Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. So I feel like the person that you were dealing with might have been like a reckless energy. Um, very impulsive somewhat aggressive even towards you and 
you're feeling like they were just draining you. Like they would, uh, what are they called? Like an energy vampire. So just be in your space and in your face, um, trying to suck up your positive energy and then just would leave you by the wayside. Like this is basically somebody who's using you for your love, the way that you make them feel. Um, but spirit, like spirit is saying basically like you need to focus on yourself, self-love, self-care. Um, there might have been some codependency here, like maybe you weren't in a good financial space and you needed to be, um, like homing with this person because they were taking care of bills and they felt like they could disrespect you and talk down to you because, um, they were the breadwinner or whatever. But yeah, this person is a nasty person. They're an asshole. Sorry. I have to say it how I see it. Yeah. And have the nerve to be jealous and obsessive, you know, over what you do and where you go. Like they actually fucking care, but that's not the case. They just want control. That's too many spirit. All right. What's this proposal, offer, engagement, wish come true? Hierophant. Hierophant pop Jesus. Clarify this proposal, Spirit. What's this proposal? Um, Seven of Cups and the Hermit. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me just figure out what Spirit is trying to tell you guys. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that when you met this person, I feel like they were offering a high level of commitment to you. Um, they may have even proposed to you. They may have love bombed you and made you feel like this was going to be your forever person. Like they were going to be your forever person. Um... But that shit was, that shit was a lie. The whole time they were keeping their opportunities open. They were out here choosing, cheating on you, keeping their options open. Why? Because they're searching for their own purpose. They don't even know who the fuck they are. So, yeah. And the hermit, the spirit is basically saying that this is the end of this cycle. With you and this person, This you need to go within... And reflect on this situation and they're telling you what to do I mean I can't tell you what to do collective um, spirit is kind of making it clear what's the best decision Knight of Pentacles just popped out yeah this person they're not gonna they're not gonna bring you shit Knight of Pentacles that's all they can offer you like it's not a good investment all right, what's this mystery and enigma? What's being hidden that the collective needs to know about? Give me the tea, spirit. <laughs> I feel like two cards. Yeah, yeah, sneaky ass. Of course, that pops out, seven of swords. Yeah, his ass is sneaky, fraud. <laughs> Betraying ass. Keeping his love to himself. Nine of Cups popped out. Yeah. He's a selfish ass bitch. That's what it is. Wants to drain you of all your love and take all your good energy in and fucking not give you nothing in return. This is a one-sided situation. What are they hiding, spirit? What's this mystery? That's what I want to know. That they're bound in a... Eight, eight of Swords. This person is bound to something. They might have entity attachments. They feel stuck. They have a victim mentality. They isolate themselves. This person is insecure as shit. They down talk, they down -talk their own self. So how can you expect somebody... 
Sorry, y'all. Um, how can you expect somebody to respect you and uplift you and help, you know, grow with you if they can't even fucking do that for themselves? Um, Seven of Wands came out. Yeah, lack, lack of confidence, worn down. Yeah, I feel like this person puts on a whole facade. He's a fraud. We saw that already. Or she's a fraud. Take it or leave, you know, put it into your story how it fits. They're a fraud ass. They act like they got it all, but they ain't got shit. And they not even self-confident. All right. So let me see. What else? I'm going to um, go back to my love oracle. What else, spirit? What else you want the collective to know? What's going to happen next in this connection? You're going to you're going to get into a new relationship. A new a uh, new commitment, new partner, new boyfriend or girlfriend. What else, spirit? Liquid courage. <laughs> I feel like, okay, so this is what I'm getting from this. What's going to happen is you're going to meet somebody new, right? And they're going to see this shit. This other person's going to see this shit. We already know they're jealous and fucking obsessive over you. They're going to see you with this new person. Their ass is going to be high or drunk and they're going to come at you trying to get your ass back. This person probably has devil attachments as far as addictions. Yeah, they want to they want to fuck. Hook up. Don't you let them hit collective. One night stand. Yeah. yeah. This other person that you're about to meet could lead to marriage forever union. So Don't be afraid. Um Spirit's got your back. We said that up here. Where was that at? Yeah. The uh, the nine of wands up here. You have, have courage to move on from this connection. Put your boundaries up. Do not fuck this person, collective. Any entities and attachments they got with them, it's energy transfer. They're going to give that shit right to you. So don't even do it because you're going to be stuck in devil energy. Stuck just like they fucking ass. Look. You want to be like this? Then don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. What else, spirit? I'm just going to pull a couple more cards and then I'm going to close out because I do have somewhere I got I to gotta go. I love y'all, but I got to go. Anything else, spirit? That you want the collective to know? Ooh, almost. Almost. Yeah, you, you guys are about to be celebrating life. Y'all might be getting ready. Okay, so you might meet this person at a party um, or a social gathering. You might be out with your girlfriends or um, at like a get together at one of your friend's houses. And this might be where you meet this person at. You might not have been out in a long time, but you're gonna be at an event or a social gathering and you're gonna meet this person. What else, spirit? Anything else for the collective spirit? I'm gonna try to get one more from the love oracle. Ooh, okay. Well, damn. We're four more. <laughs> Your ex is uh, about to be lonely as fuck. trying to get you back but remember they're in devil energy so don't believe that shit and you and your new boo are about to be traveling vacaying living the life
getting money. <laughs> That's a fact. And what the fuck does this person have to say for themselves, spirit? Where's my... Let's see what the hell they got to say for themselves. Because they know they ain't shit. dickhead have to say sure said who the fuck cares what he has to say <laughs> they're not giving us nothing what does this person have to say for themselves spirit ooh, ooh. that's too many I'm not going to take that because that popped out way too many. That was like 15 cards. Sheesh! All right. Emotions overwhelm me. Well, maybe you need to deal with them. Instead of getting liquid courage to cope. I can't express myself. That's a fact. So this person has communication issues. They don't know how to deal with their emotions. This is literally an adult fucking child. Child in adult form. I can't promise you anything. I don't want to. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. Well, the collective already knows that, so you ain't got to tell us that. I don't know who I am anymore. What else, sir? Yet. Anything else this person has to say for themselves? I can't make a decision. Drugs and alcohol. Boom. There it is. This person has a problem, an addiction problem. And they're using it because this person was probably hurt real bad either in childhood. They have some kind of trauma that they they haven't healed from and they're using this addiction to cope. Um, you can't expect love from somebody who doesn't even know how to deal with their emotions like how do they even give love if they don't even really know what the fuck love is I can't um, so I just want to do one more thing and then I'm going to head out so what's going to happen over the next 72 hours spirit with this situation in the collective what's going to happen over the next 72 hours with this connection and the collective ace of pentacles in, in reverse they lost their opportunity with you it's a wrap lost opportunity missed chance bad investment boom drops mic spirit said <laughs> It's a rat on that. <laughs> All right, collective. Um, I love y'all. Thank you for joining me. I hope you like this message. I hope it resonated. If it did, hit that like button, share, subscribe if you're vibing with your girl. And I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.